Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for stopping by. We've got another beer review for you tonight. This is going to be another beer from uh, New Anthem Beer Project out of Wilmington, North Carolina. This is going to be Throwing Shade. And this is a New England style IPA, double dry hopped with Citra. And from what I can tell, on the back here it gives some info. Um, I think it might be all citra hopped, if I'm not mistaken here. So, 6.8% alcohol by volume. Uh, there's no can on date. Um, water, pale malt, wheat, oats, lactose, and citra. Um, really cool can art. Um, you know, it's got the the yellow color, yellow, orange, reddish colors. Uh, that's the other part of the label, by the way. Sorry, I don't know if I showed that to you. So they put the title there, uh, and then the you know the can art kind of has a little bit more picture there um so yeah i've had a few beers uh, several beers from new anthem at this point and uh they are a brewery that just they just kill it man i mean when it comes to these hazy ipas that's all i've had from them um but i mean go ahead stack these up with the big guys you know stack them up with the big dogs and they'll hold their ground um you know, they know what they're doing when it comes to these beers. And uh, I don't have any doubt that this one is going to be um, the same way. So let's go ahead and pour in the glass here. Oh, wow. It's that super uh, light, like straw colored, you know, like pale, very pale colored uh, in the glass there. Yeah, it looks really nice. These are the... I always say it too, and when I find the ones that are this color, and cheese, pack a punch like that, I just like, I'm already ready, I'm already in, I'm all in on this one, so, um, yeah, it's got uh, less than a finger ahead, it's kind of dissipating, um, it's a little sudsy, little small bubbles, and then it kind of gets a little bit rockier up top, um, looks like it's going to leave some, well, maybe not, Maybe a little bit of lacing in there, but uh, let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Man, that just smells like you take hot pellets, you just rub them in your hands, and then to smell it. That's what this smells like. Just like that hop matter, I guess you could say. Just like after you, you know, if you're home, if you ever home brewed, and you know what I'm talking about, open the bag of hops. That first whiff you get, that's what this gives you off. Gives off. Oh, it smells fantastic, man. Just straight up citra. I mean, it's got a nice big orange note, uh, a little bit of a grapefruit, uh, even some pineapple in there. It just smells tropical. I mean, you know, I'm not getting much else. There's a little bit of a sweetness in there from the malt slash lactose, I guess. It smells, <laughs> it's kind of weird to say this, but it smells like it's going to be creamy. I don't know if that's something you can smell, but that's just the vibe I get from it. So, guys, I don't want to wait any longer. Let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Just take a moment of silence for this one. Yeah, I'm just kidding, but this is fantastic. Super citra bomb. You get all the same stuff that you get on the aroma. You get the orange, you get a little bit of grapefruit, you get pineapple, uh, maybe even like some other type of tropical fruit notes in there. Maybe like guava or maybe mango or something. I don't know. It's just like very tropical, very citrusy. Um, this one drinks a little bit higher than I think the 6.8%. Feels like a bigger beer. Uh, mouthfeel on the medium side, um, definitely not lacking in that department. Uh, you know, it's got a little bit of a creaminess to it from that lactose. I think that worked really well with it. Um, yeah, I mean, everything is just melded together 
so perfectly in this beer. Nice sweetness on the back end. I don't think it's, it's not like a malt sweetness though. It's almost like a, a fruity sweetness that kind of plays off, you know, from those hops um, and the lactose, obviously. Uh, but that lactose just kind of gives it a more of a creamy mouthfeel, uh, a little bit more of a residual sweetness on there because lactose is an unfermentable sugar. Um, so in the brew process, when you add lactose in, um, you know, it enhances the mouthfeel um, and you don't, um, you know, your yeast does not uh, eat that sugar, basically. So uh, it kind of stays around, leaves that sweetness in your mouth. Um, so when you're drinking the beer, you still get that, that sweetness from that. Yeah, this is fantastic. I need more new anthem. I need to go to the brewery too. So you guys that live out that way or get any of their distribution, if they do distribute, uh, are very lucky and uh, I'm jealous. So guys, uh, let me know if you've had this one and um, we can talk about it uh, because who would not want to talk about this beer if they've had it? So uh, yeah. If I don't let you go now, I'm going to just keep rambling. So, um, yeah, I just want to say thanks for uh, stopping by, watching the video. Um, check out some of the others. Um, maybe you'll like some of them. And if you do, uh, consider subscribing. Um, and also like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. And then uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.